Britannia was the former yacht of the British royal family, in service from 1954 until 1997 when she was retired and permanently berthed in Leith, Edinburgh. Britannia travelled more than a million nautical miles during her service and played a major role in the lives of the royal family, being their home from home while sailing around the world. So this is the drawing room here on board Britannia and it is probably one of my favourite rooms on the whole ship. Instead of being a very formal, decadent space, it is actually like a little country house and that is exactly what the Queen wanted for this room. She didn't want something that was ostentatious and too luxurious. She wanted a space where she could really relax and unwind and that is one of the things that I really admire about the Queen. Even though she was one of the most famous women in the whole world, perhaps the most famous woman in the world, she was also very humble and down to earth, just liking the most relaxed and informal things when she was off duty. So this is a great space for the family to come and relax. We've got these upholstered armchairs which have a chintz fabric on them, very 1940s, very comfortable, very relaxed, very country house. So everybody can sit around the fireplace, have a chat, maybe have a drink and just really relax in this space. So welcome to the state dining room and what a grand room this is. It's the largest room on board Britannia and depending on when you come here you'll get to see this room in a different way. So now we have lots of tables set up for a party but when I've been before it is often one long table in the middle of the room and it looks quite magnificent. As you can see the table is set for an elegant dinner and I'm sure that there were many of those on board Britannia when the royal family stayed here. Any world leader that you can think of has been in this room and dined with the Queen and the royal family. So it is a pretty magnificent place and when you come in here you can definitely feel that energy and that vibe of being a place where many important people have been. So whilst we're in the dining room and we're in a bit of a party vibe, one of the great things about Britannia is that you can actually rent out the whole ship for private hire, which I think is pretty extraordinary. All of the ropes are removed, you get to enjoy the whole ship for yourselves and your friends and family, whether you're having a party or a dinner, and you get to live like a member of the royal family just for a few hours, which I think is pretty cool and spectacular. Would you like to have a party here? I know that I would. So behind this glass partition is perhaps one of the most fascinating rooms of Britannia and that is the Queen's bedroom. Just knowing that this was the actual space where the Queen slept and spent her time while she was on board is pretty mind-boggling. Just above the bed there is a design that was made for the Queen which you can actually see in the Britannia gift shop. It's on beautiful stuff like mugs, tea towels and things like that. So you can take a piece of Britannia away with you and enjoy it for yourselves, which I think is pretty special. And then right next to the Queen's bedroom, if we just go down the corridor, we have Prince Philip's bedroom, which is just through this door here. So this bedroom is directly opposite the corridor and it is known as the honeymoon suite because a number of honeymoons actually took place on the Royal York Britannia and this was a room that was used for that. What I like about not being able to go in and look through the glass is that you get little sneak peeks of things so you can see in the mirror a little glimpse of the closet with all of the clothes in and I think that is quite nice not to be able to see everything. You get a bit of magic and mystery which is always what I associate with a royal family.
So the late Queen was probably most famous for her work ethic as being someone who worked extremely hard until the end of her life. And this is the space on Britannia where she would do just that. This is the Queen's office. It is quite an interesting place. It's got a comfortable sofa, a little armchair, so you can imagine that while she was working, maybe a member of the family would come in here and chat with her while she was doing that. She's got her desk, which is filled with family photographs, personal items. It really tells a story of who the Queen was, someone who was hardworking, but also very much family orientated. And on the opposite side of the ship, we have Prince Philip's office. It kind of feels like a mini gentleman's club. It's very masculine, quite simple, but very beautiful, and a space where he would probably really enjoy working in peace and comfort. So this is the sun deck and it's probably one of my favourite rooms on the whole yacht because it's filled with light. As you can see it's a very relaxed casual space and the Queen used to enjoy sitting here with afternoon tea every day and I can imagine that was a really wonderful thing to do with the sun coming in, the views overlooking wherever she may have been in the world and just enjoying this wonderful space for afternoon tea. As you know, afternoon tea is one of my favourite things to do, but I've never really had it in an environment like this, and it would be really wonderful to do that. And probably one of the most useful things in this room is the bar, which just opens in this hatch, and you've got all your glassware, a bit of champagne, some gin, I think the Queen's favourite drink was a gin and Dobonet, so I'm sure she had plenty of those in this room, and what a great place to do that. This is the Admiral's cabin, and as befitting his standing is the most spacious and comfortable accommodation outside of the royal apartments. The Admiral would eat his meals here, unless the family were in residence, and then he would always dine with them. The more functional spaces of Britannia are also highly interesting. You get to see the onboard hospital, crew bedrooms, the bar and even the laundry. It is so fun to see all that it takes to keep a royal yacht running smoothly. The engine room is another fascinating place. It is absolutely sparkling and was kept in this condition for the entire time Britannia was sailing. As you know, I'm a stickler for good housekeeping. Well, thank you so much for joining me here on this tour of the Royal Yacht Britannia. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and found it fun and interesting. I look forward to seeing you next time, but until then, take care. Bye-bye.